Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Context is King. I'm Rebecca Brayton, and with me as always is WatchMojo founder and CEO Ashkan Kubrishrushen to discuss whether or not you should retain your CEO role when raising funding. Okay, I thought you meant like whether I was like, wow, I'm being <laughs> no, replaced already. You're being replaced now. So uh, if a, a company is coming in, should you kind of glom onto your CEO role or let them bring in a more experienced CEO? I mean, when you, you personally, yeah, me personally. <laughs> well, I came well, up well, earlier. What would you on. do? Yeah. What would I do? I think there's a little bit of reverse psychology, and here's why. One time, years ago, decades ago, there was this investor that wanted to invest in us. These guys were not necessarily saying like we need to bring a more senior CEO, but they were like, "Are you open to coaching?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "The greatest people, not just the greatest business people, the greatest human beings are eternal students." who realize they don't know, who realize they're learning, and they, they change, they learn new things, things change. So I said, those are generally like the, the greatest human beings in whatever field, because they're always learning and adapting, and that requires coaching. And even if the coach may not know everything, they know other stuff. So I said, of course. And it, it kind of, as I knew it, that was the test. They just wanted to see like basic layup trick, trap, whatever, is Ash going to be like, no, 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 I don't want coaching? And my answer, they're like, awesome, great. You know, that's, that's why we love you, Ash. So, so what's the, wait, if you had to rank the answers of your answer, uh, uh, yes, replace me, I want to go live on an island, and no, don't replace me at all. But that was coaching. Hold on. That's coaching. Okay. That's not, I didn't know if they wanted to replace me with a more senior guy. So let's now go to, but my point was it was a bit of reverse psychology. Yeah. Me being resistance to it would have been like, eh, not the answer we want, Ash. Now, I've also had many conversations when people were like, so we want to invest in Watch Mojo, but how do you feel if we bring in someone more experienced? Do you know, and you could be like Chief Mojo, Chief Business <laughs> Development, Chief whatever. And I think that, believe it or not, is like reverse psychology. Why? If I or an entrepreneur is adamantly against it, no, 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 if I'm not the CEO going forward, I don't want your money, I'm going to go get it from somebody else. The other party, the investor, is going to kind of lock in and be like, no, 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 we really feel strongly. You know, we like the business, we like you, but not in this role. And it becomes like a test of will, so to speak. But if you then are like, yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm good, I don't care. I'll, I'll stick around, but if you want, I'll even just leave. I'll go sit on a beach. Then they're like, whoa, red flag, without you, it's your baby, it's your vision. There's no... And the reality is, the answer is somewhere in the middle. What I almost, I said this once and the guy laughed and same thing, he moved on. I said, let's do this. I'm gonna take a piece of paper, I'm gonna cut it in half. You get half, I get half. On the count of three, we write down what we think. I was like, you wanna do that? He's like, no, I'm good. We could revisit it. Again, it's a test. It's like when you and another car get to an intersection. If you're eager to go, that guy's ready to go. But if you're like, you go, no please, no you go, you go. Then you're like, you know, so my point is, these are little tests because human beings, as much as we think we're rational, as much as we think we're intelligent, we're not. We're animals. We are. It's, it's instincts, right? So my advice to an entrepreneur is... Get a psychology degree. Hey, man. <laughs> psychology, sociology, history, these are things that have served me well as an, as an entrepreneur. You know, sure, finance helps. Sure, marketing helps. But understanding how people think far and away uh, equally important. But the point I want to make to an entrepreneur is you want to show that you are open, you can compromise, you don't pretend to have all the right answers, and mainly you are easy to work with, easy to deal with. If you're rigid um, before you have taken somebody's money, which is when you think about it, when you're probably going to be the most yes, sir, whatever, we we'll love you, then imagine the signals you're sending to the other person when they're like, well, wait a second. It's almost like the morning after, you're probably not as... No, I was like, as... you're going to write a book about how business is dating. I've written that book All already. Right, <laughs> but, but yeah, so basically, I think it's just, uh, don't make a big deal about the question. Understand the actual answer that the person is trying to derive. Okay. Well, my question to you is, is business all just a mind game? Let us know in the comments what you think and what. <laughs> it's no? not a mind game. It I think the like question I would say is business just like relationships. Fair. That's the title of the video. Is business just like dating? <laughs> See you next time. Maybe a better title. <laughs>